Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here, and today I am doing a mod spotlight. Uh, this is Minecraft 1.3.1, so it's the latest brand spanking new Minecraft that came out yesterday. And this mod uh, is a awesome mod. Uh, it's called the Cave Gen mod. Basically what it does is when you create a new world, if you go into more world options, and you can change your world type to be caves. Basically what it will do is it will spawn and create nothing but cave world. So there's there's no uh, you know grass and things like that. It's all cave. Now as you might imagine with this, uh, there's no wood and no dirt, no gravel. They don't spawn naturally. The only way to get them is to find a abandoned shack at the bottom of the bottom layer, bottom floor. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, this makes it very difficult to find uh, resources and get started because obviously without wood you can't get started with a pick or anything like that. So what you have to do is go down and hopefully be able to find one of those abandoned um, shacks. So let's go down here and see if we can find one. Now this mod is brand new, um, it's just been created for 1.3.1, uh, oh, sorry about that, uh, it was created by I am David Minecraft, um, like I said it's for 1.3.1, oh creepers, and it installs directly in the jar, um, because there's no Minecraft Forge or mod loader or anything like that yet, ported to 1.3.1, the only way you can install mods is directly in the jar itself. So, hmm, got to find a safe way down. Oop. Now this is probably going to kill me, so let's leg it past these endermen. Just ignore the skeletons. Is that one over there? No, I think that's just cobblestone. I know running is going to exhaust me, but now that I'm clear of them, I can walk away. Now, as you can see, there are ores placed throughout. Uh, ores don't spawn in uh, veins anymore. They're just randomly placed throughout. And I believe the chances of finding them are considerably less. Um, but, of course, they do stick out in this plain cobblestone flooring. So, oh crap, run. Yeah. It's definitely, if you like hard um, games, uh, this definitely makes Minecraft very hard and difficult. It's a good challenge. See how, last, how long you can last. Are uh, we well, free? Fr nope, Creeper's coming after me. Uh, so basically now I've got to find this abandoned shack to get the wood so that I can get some stone tools going and obviously collect some of these ores that are floating around. Now what's also contained in these uh, shacks are chests, uh, much like what you find in a dungeon except it can only contains low level items such as wooden tools, uh, very minor things. Uh, there's one over there. <coughs> Let's hope there's not too many mobs in between. I don't know why there's any. They're not the prettiest thing, but they give you your wood, your gravel, and your dirt. Like I said, they have this chest. We got some sticks and some seeds. That'll be good. So let's grab all of this up. Now you probably want to go from shack to shack and try and stock up be 
because there's no way to, of course, grow wood. Um, unless you can find saplings, and then I suppose you could always plant saplings down and bone meal them. I'm not sure if that would work, to be honest, but it'd be worth a shot. But like I said, <laughs> that's only going to happen if there are saplings in these chests. So let's grab all of this. Alright. Let's grab ourselves a workbench. And grab a wooden pick. Grab some more sticks, and I'll grab five pieces of cobblestone. Enough for a pick and a sword. There we go. So let's grab that pick and that sword. Let's grab this workbench up. And grab the rest of these goodies. Might be a good idea to set some sort of base up. Um, now, I'm not sure, like I said, what you can get in these chests. Uh, because there are no actual passive mobs spawning, such as sheep or cows, your only food source is what's in these chests, and also uh, zombies, of course, for their rotten flesh. Now, also, the only way to get... Uh, Wool is from sheep, of course, but if you can find them in chests, that would be good if they even spawn in chests. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on what exactly can spawn in those chests, but I know what I am going to do is just dig in here. Let's pop a torch there. I'm just going to set up myself a little place to get some things done. a little three by three, or I can pop my workbench and chest down, grab that coal as well, because I'll want to make some torches, well, four torches, because that's apparently all I'll be able to make, and what I'll actually do is get two more of that, see if I can make a stone hoe get this wheat going. Need to get a water source as well, so... Let's go and see if we can find a water source. There's a zombie, so that will be good. That'll be some food for me. Not good. Getting boxed in a bit. Running out of health. I don't want to die. Grab that iron. So if we can make an iron sword, how many pieces of iron? Just one. Let's get this creeper. Right. At least that got rid of him. No. There's some water. Now, I don't have a way to get it to me, so let's just do that. Plant these down. And if I can kill one of these skeletons, and hopefully I'll be able to get a bone. Come on, follow me. Wow. 
aren't they even bothering to follow me? I just need that bone. Thank you. Ah, go away. Ah, now I'm starving. <sighs> so let's pop that away. Let's grab that dirt. It's gonna need that. So that should get us three. It should get us. Oh, there's a slime. Oh, that's massive. Do you want to come? You're gonna kill me, aren't you? I can see it right now. Oh. Gotcha. You want to mess with me, huh? Can't get in there anyway, so... What's up? Ah! Oh, well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the cave gen mod. Definitely check it out. The link to the forum post is in the description. Uh, like I said, it's for Minecraft 1.3.1. It goes directly in your jar, so... Yeah, take a look, and it's definitely worth a challenge, and I think I'll be playing this for a bit. <laughs> so thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.